So, Brother Billy, I want to say a little bit more about my mom and its importance. Um, okay, you notice I'm wearing this kind of a shirt. You know, more of an Asian shirt. Uh, Alambe used to wear a certain, he never wore a Western style thing. He had his own custom made kind of shirt. That's sort of a color like that. It's important because one of the things that um, we all criticize Martin Luther King for, for instance, he's always said he was Gandhi esque, you know, he's following the footsteps of Gandhi. I guess it's more. Thoreau, but uh, Henry David Thoreau and Gandhi. The reason why I say that is because one of the most important things Gandhi did, and well, maybe the most important thing that Gandhi did, was he basically said, wait a second, you mean we, we have cotton, we weave the fabric, we send this fabric to England, and they make the suits, send it back for us to wear. He said, no, 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 no. In fact, Gandhi he went and learned how to weave and weaved, and then basically made the thread, weaved it, cut the, cut the cloth, whatever have you. So basically, he said, we can all do it right here. So the criticism that we have for, for instance, for, for, for Martin Luther King, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., was that, yeah, you know, he wants to be integrated, whatever have you, be independent, but yet and still, you know what I mean? You, you are not giving us economic independence. We're not making our own clothes. We're, we're still taking the Western thing. It's, it's, it's like Africans, it's like today, you know. You know I'm, not a, I'm not a pose of suit and ties or nothing like that. But you have to understand it's, it's not, I don't want to say African, but it's not African, you know. So you're actually supporting a Western notion, you see. That's, that's part, I mean, that's, I, mean, I think that's sort of key to understanding what, what, we, are, what we are about, you know. The other thing that, on a lighter note, think about Alame that was so interesting is that he would always, you know, he'd be make, he would be talking out, you know, in a form or something like that, but he had this way with his glasses, you know, where he, he was reading and then he wanted to make a point, he had to read, so he'd sort of do like this and say something, then put his glasses back up. It's quite Alame-esque, you know, mm -hmm. it's very good. And I think the, the thing that most struck me about Alame, not struck me about Alame, but the thing I like is that Alame, is uh, what we say he was made in the South Bronx. You see, he, he, he basically grew up in, in, uh, in the Kelly, uh, Kelly Street, it was a certain area of the South Bronx, you know. And um, when, I guess the really important thing about, about that is that he, he came from an artist family. His brother is a professional photographer, uh, Kwame, Kwame Brown. Who, Kwame Brathway, which you know, which he's actually taken several pictures for my theater company. Um, but, the, but the thing about uh, uh, Alambe is that he he was never he never would compromise with anything. You know, it was this is the principle. It's like a principle about about him. You know, and, and that's what I really uh, liked. Uh, that's why I could really admire and deal with with Alambe more than a lot of other other folks. And you always had a sense of humor too, like that. So there you are, Bronx man, Bronx boy, you know, mm -hmm. not bad, bad. Uh, forging the fight, the good fight, forever, good fight forever. So, uh, so there you go, There's, there, there was a lot bad. Um, oh, I think, uh, one, well, that, that's all I should say about uh, about lot bad, because he's just so extraordinary. We just keep on meandering and and, and never really getting to his, 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 his what we need to do, you know, what we need to do is not follow in his footsteps, but make stuff our own. So that, you know, and that's the way to work is making stuff our own, going into a, deep into ourselves. That's what allowed me to go deep into ourselves rather than looking outside mm -hmm. for, for 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 answers. Mm -hmm. You know, the answers are inside, in, in us. You know, and that's what liberates us. You know, so that's a lot of things. And, mm -hmm. The universe was kind to him. He, he had many years on the planet, which was which was good because he passed. He was 77 years old when he passed, you know, and everybody respected him. And, and I'll tell you how much they respected Alambe. They just had his uh, uh, memorial service for him last um, Saturday. Uh, it was five hours. It was five hours of testimony on Alambe Brown. Now that's a bad brother. Mm -hmm. Well, you got people, all kinds of dignitaries and politicians and common folk testifying to your to your doings. That's an amazing man. Mm -hmm.